The ThinkPad T440P is one of the most popular ThinkPads to buy right now. It's very cheap right now in the used market, you can sometimes find them for less than $100, and they're very upgradable machines. The architecture inside is still reasonably modern, and upgrading to a quad-core i7 processor gives you a laptop that can still compete with brand new laptops that cost several times more. And these laptops can be upgraded to a 1080p IPS display without any sort of modifications, which is one downside of older ThinkPads like the T420 and T430. The T440P was the last 14-inch ThinkPad to have an optical drive or an upgradable processor, alongside its cheaper, budget-oriented counterpart, the L440. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the easiest ThinkPads to take apart and upgrade and also service. Just two screws and you can slide off the bottom cover, and access almost everything you would need to upgrade. The wireless card, the storage, the optical drive, the RAM, the CMOS battery, and the processor. And taking apart the rest of the laptop isn't very difficult at all either. But there is one downside to these laptops. Any of the Haswell ThinkPads have this god-awful touchpad with no dedicated buttons because Lenovo thought it was a good idea. So I'm not sure what Lenovo was trying to aim with here, I don't know if they were trying to get a touchpad that competed with the MacBook, but whatever the case, it didn't go over very well, and Lenovo was very quick to 180 on that with the next generation of ThinkPads, which all brought back dedicated trackpoint buttons. And since Lenovo had already done a major redesign of the entire ThinkPad lineup with the Haswell series of ThinkPads, it didn't make sense to do a complete redesign for the Broadwell ThinkPads. So Broadwell ThinkPads are pretty much the same design as their Haswell counterparts. They just have newer processors and newer, better graphics, and they have dedicated trackpoint buttons. There's a lot of parts that are shared between the two generations, and one of these parts is the touchpad. So to get dedicated trackpoint buttons back, we need a T450 touchpad. Replacing the touchpad physically is, for the most part, pretty easy. I already did a video explaining how to replace the touchpad on a T440P, and it's pretty straightforward. But where things start to become an issue, especially if you're using Windows 10, is getting drivers that will correctly identify the touchpad and the touchpad buttons. Because most people who do this swap are doing it so that they can use the track point. And it's not exactly straightforward to just go look up the drivers and install them. Thankfully, it isn't too difficult to get a set of drivers working. The procedure is outlined on the ThinkPads.com forum, and it was put together by forum user Real Black Stuff, who has a lot of experience with ThinkPads and has also done many modifications for different machines. If you have a Synaptics touchpad, the process will go as follows. First, you'll go to Lenovo's website to download the T450 Synaptics driver. Then you will go to Control Panel, and then hit Programs, and if you have current Synaptics drivers installed, uninstall them. Click on the T450 driver. Run the program, but uncheck the option to install the program now. Go to the Drivers folder, which is usually in Drive C, and then Drivers, and then Windows, and then UNAV. Then go into the WinWDF folder, then X64, and then SynPD.inf. You want to edit the file. Now this is a very uh, long text file, so thankfully you can use Control F in the Notepad application and look for specific things. We want to look for all lines that have LEN0036 in them. When you find these, you're going to delete them. Then find all of the lines with LEN200E and change LEN200E to LEN0036. Then save the file. Basically what we're doing is tricking the driver software into thinking that this is a T450 by replacing the T450 hardware ID with the T440 hardware ID. Now we can't quite install our drivers yet. If we try to install the drivers now, they won't install properly because now Windows will complain about the drivers being unsigned. This is a built-in security measure. So what we are going to have to do is stop Windows from checking for driver sign-in. So what you're going to do is go to the Start menu, hit Settings, click on Update and Security, and then Recovery. 
Then click Restart Now under the Advanced Startup section. Once it's restarted, click on Troubleshoot. Then click Advanced Options, and then Startup Settings, and then Restart. When it brings up the Startup Settings screen, press 7 to disable driver signature enforcement. So what we've basically done is tell Windows to not check for a driver signature. Once you've restarted the computer, you should be able to click on the setup file for the touchpad drivers, and they should install just fine. Once you've restarted the computer, everything should work as they should. Trackpoint scrolling should work perfectly fine regardless of the application. However, there is a problem that I've noticed, at least on my installation of Windows. I have my system set to 100% scaling, but whenever I hit the scroll button, it resizes the mouse to 150% scaling. I can go into the settings and resize the mouse all I want, I can try using different cursors. Every time I hit the track point scroll button, it will resize it to 150% scaling. None of the other track point buttons or any actions on the touchpad do this, so I'm not really sure what the problem is. I made a post about this in the thinkpads.com forum, but nobody seems to know an answer, and I can't really find any answers online, so hopefully this video gets enough exposure that somebody can look into this. If you have an Alps touchpad, the process is fairly similar. There's driver software you have to download from Lenovo's website. You'll uninstall your current drivers, restart the computer, unpack the drivers, but don't install them, go to the drivers folder, and then Alps UNAV, VI64, appfilter.inf, and then edit the files. So you don't have to worry about deleting any LEN0036 lines in it. You just look for any lines that have LEN002D and then change them to LEN0036 and then save the file. From here, the process is pretty much the same. You'll just disable the driver signage enforcement in Windows and then install the drivers. And once you've restarted the computer, everything will work just fine. You will want to make sure that you disable Microsoft from updating drivers automatically so that they don't overwrite these drivers. There's many different ways of doing this, and sometimes this changes because of Windows updates, so I'm not going to really talk about that here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, to me, other than the full HD IPS upgrade and putting in a quad-core i7, the uh, touchpad swap is probably the most popular and one of the best upgrades you can make to AT440p, or any Haswell generation of ThinkPad. Um, because it doesn't take very long, and with this uh, modification that we can do, which is pretty simple, it doesn't take that long, everything works as it should. Now we have a much more usable ThinkPad T440p, so hopefully this helps some of you out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always, and thanks for watching.